Well, there are new developments in the case of David Shepard, who had his life in prison sentence commuted by Governor Wolf. We've learned he will not face other charges that date back to 1992. Joe Holden is in media with the decision from the Delaware County District Attorney. Joe, good evening. Yuki, good evening. This is really a case about the tale of two district attorney's offices. Just uh, a week ago, this case was moving forward and there could possibly have been jail time. But after today's decision, that looks extremely unlikely. In a changing of the guard at the Delaware County District Attorney's Office, a significant legal maneuver marked Chief Prosecutor Jack Stolsteimer's first big move. We are ending the prosecution of this case and it dies right there. It was a sharp departure from his predecessor, with Stolsteimer terminating the prosecution of 28-year-old shoplifting charges that were still pending against David Shepard. He had spent a quarter century in jail for his role in the 1992 murder of Overbrook pharmacist Thomas Brannan. The governor recently commuted Shepard's sentence, but that old shoplifting case stood in his way of certain freedom. This is not a serious case. Um, and the idea that the Delaware County District Attorney's Office would be pursuing it 28 years later as sort of a vendetta against a man whose sentence was commuted for a far more serious crime. Former District Attorney Cadillun Copeland challenged Stolsteimer's actions in a phone interview, criticizing his first official public act as nothing more than a political play. She added when Shepard's sentence was commuted, Brannon's family was never contacted. Shepard's lawyer said his client was relieved by this decision. This has been hanging over his head. Uh, it was always possible that if he were to go all the way to trial and if he were to be convicted, it was always possible that he could go back to jail. Now, the district attorney's office says that the late Thomas Brannon's family was notified of today's decision, and he said they understood why they were moving in this direction. Live outside the courthouse here in Delaware County, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thank you so much.